Alyssa Thomas and the Maryland Terrapins are into the Sweet 16. And that's where the warm, fuzzy feelings stop, because up next, the big kahuna of women's hoops. I'm Jeff Fischel. It's Tuesday, March 26. This is the ACC Now. Thomas, the two-time ACC Player of the Year, scored a game-high 28 points in an easy 74-49 win over Michigan State. Next up for the Terps, UConn. That's right, UConn, the Lady Huskies. They'll play at noon on Saturday. Three other ACC teams are in action tonight. Tierra Ruffin Pratt coming off a career day in the first round leads North Carolina against Delaware and All-American Elena Deladon. Florida State has an even bigger test. Literally, the Seminoles must try to stop number one Baylor and the Bears' six foot eight center Brittany Griner. Duke gets a home game tonight. The Blue Devils are a two seed. They go up against seven seed Oklahoma State. On the men's side, Duke and Miami still alive. I talked to Hurricanes coach Jim Laranega about getting to the Sweet 16, taking on Marquette, and I asked him about doing some Muhammad Ali shadow boxing after their win over Illinois. Look for that on the ACC Digital Network. Four ACC schools are in the top 13 in the new Baseball America Top 25. On top, it's North Carolina. The Tar Heels are 21-1 this season. Florida State is 6th. Virginia went 5-0 last week. The Cavs are 9th. Georgia Tech fell four spots after losing a series to the Seminoles. Clemson catcher Garrett Bulware and Florida State outfielder DJ Stewart are the ACC Baseball Players of the Week. Miami's Brian Radzewski is the Pitcher of the Week after throwing a complete game shutout. In softball, Emily Wyman, Lacey Waldrop, and Kirsty Grant earned weekly honors. In men's lacrosse, Joey Sankey and Kieran Burke are the ACC Players of the Week. On the women's side, Kara Canizaro and Kelsey Durye. And that is the ACC Now.